Hi Sandy, you've just tried the new STS irons, what are your thoughts? Everyone should have a pair. Um, I feel a lot more confident. I'm not concentrating on where my stirrup is, where my foot is all the time and it just makes me ride better. And the safety aspect, you feel better about that? Oh definitely. You know, if my foot comes out the stirrup because I don't have the grip like an able-bodied person, it's, I could lose my balance and fall off very easily. It's just something behind my subconscious that, yeah, it's definitely much better. I, they come out easily if I fall off. And um, it's just safer, especially since I do a bit of eventing. And, you know, the last thing any person wants to do is lose a stirrup while they're going over a nice big fence. Yes, <laughs> and it's the hardest thing in the world to keep your feet on in the correct position the whole time exactly and because i physically can't do it you know i've got more chance of losing it which i do up to three four times on a cross-country course even in prelim and pre novice i'm losing my feet i'm losing my stirrups should i say yeah three and times. then you'd have to pull up and stop would you yeah or jump the big fences with no stirrups <laughs> when, I'm, when i'm two strides out <laughs> but even the best olympic riders in the world have the same problem their feet slipping forward and and with that center bar and that little outside bar their feet can't go past that point which is great whereas it's in other stirrups that have got some good tread but if you're jumping a high fence your feet can lift upwards yeah. off the tread and still go forward right. whereas with those they can't yeah you know it's not the problem of losing stirrups because everyone does it yeah. it happens my personal case is getting my feet back in the stirrup yeah. because I can't lift my leg and look for the stirrup because yeah. the stirrup is higher than my foot. So with these, because there's so much more grip and that bar's there, when your feet do lift up, then they stay in. Yeah, so they're not moving nice away. Yeah. yeah. And it's always hard, I, I know myself as, as a jockey, mm -hmm. once you lose a stirrup on, it's just luck whether you get it back. Exactly. And, and sometimes <laughs> you haven't got time to get it back. <laughs> And you're better off kicking the other foot out and hoping for the best. That's right, right with your knees. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, that's good, that's great. Yeah, yeah I think they're, they're great, they look great, and I think they're going to be great uh, benefit, especially for Paralympic riders, but everyday riders. Definitely. The you know, safety. The last thing you want to worry about is another thing that could go wrong. Yeah, that's correct. And that's another thing. You put all that preparation, time, money into going out and competing, and then something silly, yeah. like you losing a foot out of stirrup, puts you from first to bottom. Yeah, and it's hard. You, you, eventing is one of the toughest competitions. Oh, it is. You know that that is one of the most dangerous sports yeah. where fences do not move. Mm -hmm. They, at least in the show jumping ring, your rails will topple off. Yeah. You've got some hope with those fences and jumping into water and up. I, I, I find it amazing. It is, especially what these guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Andy. No